Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of review video and I'll be reviewing and comparing uh, the suction cup mount which I have one here at uh, the Telesen camera suction cup bracket and the other one is the GoPro suction cup. If this is your first time a repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying you on different ideas. If you appreciate variety, please go ahead and come back for more. If you're only looking for review videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So the GoPro suction cup is an expensive one and uh, this is about uh, $60 Canadian and this is very durable. So if you take a uh, look at the build quality and everything, uh, this is, you know, it tells that this is a very durable product and uh, the way it works is that you have to just you know mount your GoPro right here but the big flaw in the designing is that if you take a look at this arm uh, you can see that you know this doesn't go 360 degrees it just stays one way so let's say if your camera is right here then you can only record this way let's say you if you want to record this side or that side then you cannot do that because this is just you know facing one side so that's the flaw of the product and then i was looking for something which would do uh, 360 degree or any way i want and then i came across the telsin camera suction cup bracket and surprisingly this is only about uh, i would say like 30 35 dollars canadian but this works much better than GoPro and you can you have the option to you know move it any way you want and even this one has partial metal so for example this part right here it's metal and let me just unfold this and if you look at this this is just you know even less bulkier and in terms of weight uh, this looks like you know slightly lightweight although it has a metal here so if you look at this you can see that it has a ball head and it rotates 360 degree so basically you can record anything you want you're not stick to or you're not limited to just you know one side like the GoPro and in terms of holding onto a base uh, both of them work very fine uh, you know there's no problem I never had an issue with any one of this coming off or anything so both of them works very good so I'll just uh, you know show you very quickly here so let's say I'm gonna stick this uh, right here so if I put it right here and I just you know close this then you can see that you know it's glued like iron and it's not gonna move so it's very like you know steady and firm and if you wanna just remove this then I'll just remove it and then it comes off easily and same thing with GoPro you know it's very good when it comes to you know attaching to a base but the problem with GoPro is that you know this is not do or this is not going to be your like you know everyday purpose uh, mount because it just moves one way so basically you have you don't have the option to move the uh, 360 degree because it doesn't have any ball head or the feature is not like this so what I'll do I'll just quickly attach my GoPro and I'll show you what I mean by that you know you can re you can record anything you want so all you have to do you're just going to you know put in your gopro okay so let's say if you have your gopro then you know you can keep this any way you want for example you can keep it this way or if you want it like this way or if you want it like you know this way or even if you want it like this way so you can just rotate you know turn upside down any way you want but that's the problem with the GoPro which you know cost a lot more and it doesn't even you know do the job to so for example right now it's facing the other way and actually let me just put it a little bit here so see this is just right now facing the other way and you can do basically 
any type of video or any type of you know video you can any way you want so the secret is that you know it has one ball head right here and one ball head right here and this you know lever is actually controlling both of them so there's not two liver just one liver and then you can just like you know adjust it to according your needs so that's the way you know this can come in very handy if you're sticking to it like in a bus car or like you know on a surface or anywhere because it just works and the problem with gopro is that you know this is just going to serve your purpose for only facing backward or forward so it doesn't have any ball head or anything so definitely i would go with the you know the tail scene or anything similar if you are looking for like you know more options and if you are okay with you know just having one option which is just forward or backward then gopro is the way to go but uh, i find that this is much easier to travel and much easier to handle than gopro because it's bulkier and kind of bigger and uh, this is not a paid or affiliated review all my reviews are non-affiliated unbiased and honest so there are no affiliated links i didn't take money from anyone i purchased these with my own money so i just wanted to show you the difference between these two and you know uh, you may be getting a better one if you spend less money so this is like 30 35 dollars canadian and this is about 60 dollars canadian so you know you're spending less but you're getting a better product so that's what i wanted to show you today thank you for watching this video there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you